do YouTube community or everybody else that's watching my videos, you know what I'm saying? Y'all showing some love, man. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate all the love that I'm getting, man. We only gonna get better. But yeah, so I got another story time for y'all. But before I get into the story time, you know what I'm saying? I will I will be doing more videos, more lit videos. Like, might do some one more video, some mukbangs, you know what I'm saying? I got a mukbang with my mom uh, coming up later. Uh, I'm just editing it right now and shit like that. So yeah. So y'all read the title. And the title is uh, White Van or some shit. It must say White Van. So, the time I was stalked by a white van. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to say the shit, but y'all going to see it in the title, man. So, look. I can take off the glasses, even though you niggas can't see me, because it might be a Madden gameplay or some shit. So, yeah. So... It was okay, so got a story time. It's called um, I had a stalker in a white van type shit. All right, so this was in 10th grade. All right, so this was in 10th grade. Uh, this was in 10th grade when I was playing football and shit. So this shit like happened like uh, I'll say 2017, 2017 of February. Okay. All right, so here we go. So, so I so in the beginning of the year in January, um, me and my brother we started playing football and shit like that. Um, <clears throat> and then and then usually how we get home we like have our mom take us home and shit like that. And we used to stay after school and stuff like that. So you know what I'm saying I'm a, I'm gonna just tell y'all how that week had went out type shit. So you know me like. I'm in like I'm in class and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Some some classes I'll be a class clown and some some class I'll just be like, you know what I'm saying, chilling, just doing my work and shit like that. I never really like took school seriously, you know what I'm saying? Especially like around senior year. I didn't take that shit seriously because, you know what I'm saying, like I had intern classes and stuff like that. Now when I really stopped giving a fuck about um school was when Spiritual soul dropped the video uh, about school, like none of that shit matters or something like that. But then, yeah. So it was all right. So I remember like waking up in the morning and shit like that. You know what I'm saying I'm trying to get hype or some shit because there was something going on that day. Something going on that day. We probably like you know what I'm saying had like little ice cream or some shit like that. We had something going on because we had like uh, the best test scores out of our um, out of all our classes uh, in the grade. So then, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I was getting lit for first period and shit. My mom had dropped me off uh, at school and shit. So then, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I remember I was walking, you know what I'm saying? Saying what's up to my bros and shit, my niggas and shit. Saying what's up to the bitches and shit. Now, not, okay, so let me, all right, let me get to this one. Let me get to this part. All right, so ninth grade, I had no bitches. I was hanging out with my niggas. I was with the guys. 10th grade, I had I had a few hoes. I had a few hoes. I'm not gonna lie, I had a few hoes. 11th grade, I had all the hoes. I had all the hoes. Uh, then senior year, I barely had hoes, but you know what I'm saying I lost my uh, my virginity. And that's and I'm gonna say that too. I'm gonna say that shit for another story time. So yeah, <clears throat> there was there was walking to school. You know what I'm saying, say what's up to everybody. So then we sat in class, and then we saw all the uh, we saw all the food and shit. It was like Little Caesars and shit like that. Now, like back then, I didn't like Little Caesars like that. You know what I'm saying? Only because like, you know what I'm saying? They didn't they didn't have the shit that they have today, like with the stuffed crust pizza and all that other shit. But now the now Little Caesars is good. I recommend it. But I'm trying to lose weight type shit. So then yeah. Um, so then they had little Caesars and shit, they had Kool-Aid and all the other shit, and it was gonna be lit. You know what I'm saying? So we all we all just chilling, just eating little Caesars and shit, just eating that pizza and shit. So then yeah, I didn't um I didn't I didn't wanna eat too much and then I told one of my friends cause uh we actually uh played football together. Uh, you know what I'm saying? 
we was actually like conditioning because you know what I'm saying football season was like in the beginning of the school year to like Christmas or some shit or unless if you was in the playoffs then you played the next year like like NFL type shit so then yeah we was conditioning and shit and later on I did make the team and I'm saving that story for and I'm saving that you know what I'm saying for another story time so then yeah um you know what I'm saying? There I was. I was just telling on one of my teammates. I was like, uh, "Don't don't really eat too much because you know what I'm saying. Like we still got practice and everything and shit like that." And then you know what I'm saying? He was like, "All right, appreciate the hospitality." I was like, "Okay." I didn't know what the fuck that meant back then, but now I know. So <clears throat> so then after that, um, she wasn't okay. So like the teacher, she wasn't really like. She wasn't really like uh, teaching. She just like gave us one like one sheet of work to do, just in case like if the principal comes in and they don't want us just having fun. They just want us to learn and kind of have fun with the type shit, so that they won't make learning boring or some shit like that. Cause like yeah, this shit crazy. And that's some bullshit. So that after that, we just had to do it. We didn't have like we didn't really have to take it seriously. We just had to do it, and then like she'll give us an A or some shit like that. But if you didn't do it, you was gonna get a zero type shit because like that's kind of fucked up. Like you know like at least at least you could do it just do the work type shit. But yeah, you already know you know what I'm saying. You already know we um we have we have that one kid in class who just wanna be a badass kid or some shit. Wanna be you know what I'm saying some, on some green ass shit. Well, you know what I'm saying. I ain't. I'm not. I'm not gonna say he green, but like, it always like be that one bitch or that one nigga that be in class, and then they just be disrupting the whole class, and then like we all be entertaining shit like that. <clears throat> now, 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 it be like, it be like, you know what I'm saying. Some some white kid. I'm not gonna say his name because I don't know what the fuck he doing right now, but he was my dog and shit like that back then. So then yeah. It was just one kid back then. We called him school shooter because he looked like a school shooter. The nigga never smiled. The nigga always angry and shit. So we called that nigga school shooter type shit. So so school shooter, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Um, he'll always be like, can you be quiet? Cause I'm trying to get my education. You know what I'm saying? And shit like that. We ain't like, like us the class, we ain't say shit. But, um, but uh, the, the nigga, the nigga who was dis disrupting, um, like, you know what I'm saying? Kind of stopping the teacher from teaching or like giving us work or some shit like that. Um, he actually said, shut your white ass up or some shit like that. And then he was just cussing his ass out. And then, you know what I'm saying? The school shooter shut the fuck up type shit. <coughs> so then, yeah. Um, then, then, you know what I'm saying? Like, he just kept be like disrupting the whole class and shit like that. And like us, like us kids, bro, we used to like that shit, but we won't never say it. We used to like that shit because we we didn't give a fuck about learning at high school. Like, like they only cared about like just going to college and all this other shit. Me, when I was playing football, my main goal was just to make it into the NFL. Make it to the NFL and shit like that. Now, like, I'm doing story times, doing YouTube, working, and I'm rapping and shit. Like, like the only way I'm going to start doing YouTube and rapping is if I actually, like, go to college to play football. No, 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 no. Okay, so the only way I'm going to start doing that shit is if I make it to the NFL. Because because if I'm in college, I'm, like, like I'm I'm doing YouTube videos, like, almost every day. Because, you know what I'm saying, you got, you got the lit niggas over there and shit like that. So, yeah. So then after that, you know what I'm saying? The nigga, the nigga just kept going on and on and on and on and shit like that. Then this nigga was like, hey yo, turn. I'm like, yo. That was like freestyle for us. I'm like, man, bro, nigga, I can't freestyle, bro. I was like, oh man, how you supposed to be a rapper? You can't freestyle. I'm mean, like, bro, like I just don't have shit that comes off the top of the dome type shit. And we was in 10th grade. I wasn't, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't really focusing on rapping. I was just focused on football and shit like that. And um, yeah, so that after that, you know, um, after that day, we had left class and shit like that. And then um, my mama had texted me saying, um, quit the football team. And I was like, why? And she was like, because they mailed in your report card. I said, fuck! I said, fuck, bro. Damn, they had to mail that shit. 
and then you know what I'm saying like I, I had got it I had got an F in reading type shit cuz like like an F in English type shit cuz I was never really I'm not I, I'm not gonna say I'm not really good at cuz like the only subject I had a hard time in was fucking science Science I was never good in Social studies I just Social studies I was kind of good in But I never took it seriously The only thing that I was good at Was math Like math I get straight A's And shit like that Like I like I never failed math Type shit I be failing the tests though Cause I don't be taking that shit seriously Like Like You give me any kind of test I'ma fail that shit Cause I don't take that shit seriously I don't even take life seriously I, like, I don't even take life seriously Type shit but yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like reading, reading was just never good for me. I never I never really got good at reading until like the next year, which is my junior year. That's when that's when I improved and shit. And uh senior year, yeah, that shit was just kinda easy. But but the projects seem difficult as fuck. But when I do them and then when they give me a grade, cause like pretty much every reading project I get will be a B type shit. Cause like I get a B just for doing it and it looks perfect. But as far as it like making sense, then yeah, uh, that shit really don't. Uh, matter My bad y'all Just bird type shit But yeah You know what I'm saying So yeah Then after that She she told me to quit the football team And you know what I'm saying I went to class and shit like that So then after that She was teaching You know what I'm saying My teacher she was teaching And shit like that And then uh, that's when I had asked Can I go to the bathroom But but in reality You know what I'm saying I just wanted to go get some water And then I wanted to go tell my coach That I was quitting And he was like He was like Are you sure you want to quit I was like, yeah, and then he was like, okay, well, it's sad to see you go because you, you know what I'm saying, you was getting better, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, um, he said, he said I was getting better, I was losing weight, I was losing hella weight, you know what I'm saying, like, I was like fat, I was a fat ass nigga, bro, like, I was losing hella weight, like, 10th grade was my last year playing football because I did play football in, on, in the ninth grade, I just never started and I just never had the cameras on type shit because I wasn't a YouTuber back then, you know what I mean, so yeah, and then yeah type shit um and then yeah i was like man yeah man shit because this was my dream and shit like that but yeah now to this day i fucking regret it because like you know what i'm saying i had i had higher chances of like going to going to a d1 college type shit and i'm dead ass serious but i was you know what i'm saying type shit because uh i was um no 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 i wasn't a back. i was like i was trying to do tight end type shit i was trying to do tight end my um i was trying to do tight end my uh 10th grade year and then them niggas said i was just too short and some shit like that so then they put me back on linebacker uh because ninth grade i played linebacker and i'm saving that for another story time so you know what i'm saying so yeah um so then, yeah i left coach office then i came back to the classroom and shit like that and then, yeah, no questions asked. She didn't, she didn't say how long you was gone or, like, why you were gone, some shit like that. So then, yeah, after that, you know what I'm saying, like, woot de woot de woot like, been through class. Then at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, like, my mom, she was, like, uh, take the bus home and shit like that. And she said my brother was just going to um, stay for practice and some shit like that. So she was like, just take the bus home because I have to be at work. I like, okay shit like that because because whenever like whenever i take the bus to go home it'd be like a store right next to it you know what i'm saying like that family dollar store and shit like that and i used to be getting snacks and shit like shit used to be a fucking blast type shit so then yeah that's when i had took the bus and like you know what i'm saying like you know how like when the end of the bus like that shit be so lit or like everybody just be talking to some shit like that yeah it was fucking lit so yeah um then that's when, yeah, I got off the bus. I went straight to Family Dollar. You know, I had to give me a pack of Reese's or some shit. Reese's is my favorite chocolate, man. If y'all want to send me that shit, I'll send y'all my P.O. box. I just got to I just gotta learn how to look that shit up or just learn how to do that shit. But, yeah, I do plan on moving soon. But, yeah, I'm going to just give y'all that P.O. box if y'all want to send me some Reese's type shit. So, yeah. um, Yeah, so went to Family Dollar. You know what I'm saying? Got me a pack of Reese's and some Takis. And Takis was the shit back then. Takis was popping, type shit. And then yeah, so then like right right when I left the store. So like I left the store and I left the parking lot type shit. So then when I had when I had left the parking lot, some shit like that, I was like walking for maybe like two minutes type shit. You know what I'm saying? 
next you, you know what I'm saying like I was I was up to a stop sign and then I was finna put in my headphones but then that's when you know what I'm saying I heard a car pass by me and then I looked back and it was a fucking white van I didn't know I didn't know anything about white vans you know what I'm like white yeah yeah the white vans or some shit like that I didn't know nothing about them back then so a car just stopped and I'm thinking like oh he finna deliver a package or some shit like that Yes, bro, I'm dumb as fuck. So then, yeah, um, then that's when uh, I turned back around and I was walking, I would say for like, probably like 15 seconds and then it just got closer and closer and closer and shit like that. But I wasn't worried, I wasn't scared of some shit like that because, yeah, you know, like I was I was pretty big, like I was like a big ass kid, like kind of short, I would say like six feet type shit. But yeah, I was, I was a pretty good kid, pretty big kid type shit. So then, yeah, then that's when, um, uh, that's when that shit came by me. And then the nigga, the nigga rolled down his window. Then the nigga said, Yeah, hey, I got some candy in the van. So I'm like, nigga, bro, I'm not fucking three, four, five years old, nigga. Like, I know this is a fucking trick, nigga. Type shit. So then that's when like the nigga drove off, parked his car. Park the van. This nigga park the van, right? This nigga park the van, got out, and then he'll walk in and he had his arms up, looking like he was finna hug me or some shit like that. I'm like, nigga, if you don't get your goofy ass on, nigga, bro, type shit. So then that's when that nigga was running. I wasn't running, cause like, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't scared, type shit. Like, listen, if you wanna scare me, nah, 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 you can't scare me. You can't like, you know what I'm saying? Cause like, I've been, I've been through too much shit type shit. I had, I had held, like I've been held at gunpoint before. So like nothing really scares me now. You know what I'm saying? Unless if you like throw a snake at me or some shit like that, then I'll, I'll, I'll probably start running type shit. The nigga ain't had no snake type shit. So then after that, the nigga was running, the nigga was chasing me type shit. So then after that, you know what I'm saying? I didn't run or some shit like that. I dropped my book back and I tried to put put the Reese's in my pocket or some shit like that. Then the nigga pushed me and then that's when I had got mad. So then I dropped everything and then like um that's when the nigga had ran some shit like that. And then like I was chasing after this nigga. I was chasing after this nigga because I really wanted my hit back. Cause nigga, you got me fucked up, nigga. I ain't do shit to you, nigga. Type shit. So then I ran and then I hit him in the arm and shit like that. And then the nigga fell. When a nigga fell, I was finna bust out laughing, but I was mad as fuck, bro. So like, yeah, everything is funny to me, type shit. So that, so that after that, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't finna like just go up, like you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, nigga, you, you better not touch me, touch. Nah, nah, I wasn't. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't ready to get the fuck up out of there. Like, I wasn't no cocky ass person, type shit. I wasn't ready to get the fuck up out of there. So then, I came and I got my bag and shit like that. And then, yeah. Next thing, next thing I had noticed was my Reese's was fucking gone, and I was fucking mad. I was mad. I was like, "What the fuck, my Reese's?" And then I was mad at some shit. And then he was like, "He was like, hey kid, don't you, don't you ever put your fucking hands on me?" So I was like, "Bro, nigga, I lost my Reese's. Nigga, you fucking with me for no reason, bro. You gotta get your ass whooped." So then, yeah. After that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I dropped. You know, no, no, no. I didn't. I didn't drop my book bag. I got my book bag and then I dropped it when I got closer to him. So then after that, I was beating this nigga ass. I was beating this nigga ass. I wasn't really mad at him. It, it, it was just, you know what I'm saying? My Reese's was gone because I dropped them bitches on the ground because I tried to put them in my pocket type shit. So then, yeah, I was beating his ass, beating his ass, beating his ass. I was trying to hit him in the face, but you know what I'm saying? I ended up hitting him in the waist. I just didn't have the cameras on to show you the proof because I wasn't a YouTuber back then. But yeah, I kid you not. I kid you not. This is a real ass story. I kid you not, bro. Beating this nigga ass, beating this nigga ass. Now, the first thing I was really worried about was if like the cops was going to show up because the nigga was white. The nigga was white and I'm black type shit. And it was like in an old ass neighborhood type shit. You know what I'm saying? We was in the mid-class session. It's not the suburbs, but it's not the hood type shit. So then, um, that, that was really the only thing I was really worried about. So like, I beat his ass, ran, you know what I'm saying? I picked up my book bag and then I ran type shit. I ran and ran and ran and ran. I didn't even fucking look bad type shit. You know what I'm saying? But the next stop time, like, hold on, hold on. The next stop sign that I had got to 
I turned around and then the nigga was gone, like the van was gone type shit. So then I just kept running, kept running, kept running. And then when I came back to the house and some shit, uh, my granddad, uh, my granddad, he was in the house and then he was like, "What the hell you been at?" I was like, "Um, I I had said, <clears throat> oh not, oh, oh not, the bus just came late and some shit like that because it was a fight." And he was like, "Oh okay, okay, just wanted to make sure you were safe." I like, yeah, because I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to put. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I just, I, I just wanted to go to the store and get some fucking Reese's. Nah, I don't have them bitches. You know what I'm saying? But like, I ain't, I ain't want my granddad to call the police and do all that other shit. You know what I mean? So like, yeah, cause especially cause he was white, and I, and like, I ain't want to have to go through all that shit. I just, I just wanted to live a normal life, just like play football, some shit like that. Cause, cause my granddad, my granddad, he was like, you know what I'm saying? He. He from he from Alabama, so he dealt with that racist shit. But it was just like it was like I don't wanna I don't wanna tell my granddad cause like then then he gonna be mad as fuck. Then he gonna be telling my whole family some shit like that. I'm like nah, bro. You know what I'm saying it's best if I just keep that shit to myself and just like this be a memory type shit. But then yeah, so then you know what I'm saying after that happened, the next day I went back to school and then like um, I told I told one of my good friends type shit. Well, I was telling all my friends, like all my friend friends, like not no fake ass little school acquaintance or some shit like that. I told all my friends and shit. And then he was like, damn man, that sound like a that sound like an action move. I was like, yeah man, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't really scared type shit. They were like, for real? I would've been scared. And niggas like, bro, you gonna pull up in a white van on some creep ass shit? I'm like, yeah, bro, like that shit crazy. You know what I mean? But then yeah, so then you know what I'm saying? Like after that, there was just like, I hope you're safe. I hope you're safe and all that other shit. And I was like, yeah. The only thing I was mad about, cause some like my reasons was gone. Like it felt like somebody had just took them bitches or something like that. So then yeah. <clears throat> then then like I just took the anger out on him, cause like I was kind of a little fat, but I lost hella weight. I like I lost hella weight. Like they say they say like middle school, I looked like I was pregnant type shit, cause I had so much stomach fat, stomach and yeah, yeah, just stomach fat, cause I never like my face wasn't really fat until like I got into like uh I'll say my twelfth grade year, and then that's when I started having face fat. You know what I'm saying? Type of shit. But yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? After that, man, everything was just straight. Never really talked about it again. You know what I'm saying? I just want to save it on for y'all. You know what I'm saying? But that's it for the story time, man. I hope you like this video man i hope you you know what i'm saying comment something positive because that's all we do we do positive shit no negative shit no drama shit you know what i'm saying i don't have time for pettiness i only got time no wait hold on i think i said that shit wrong oh okay i don't have room for pettiness i only got room for a bag bag full of money in it nigga you know what i'm saying not not no school shooter type shit but then, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Make sure make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video because you might learn something new, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Y'all go ahead and follow me on Instagram, 904 underscore T, and Florida made promos. So I might change that name or some shit like that. But then, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I love y'all.